What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is the 411. Thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. Thank you also if you took the time to subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Uh, for all you guys that are fragrance enthusiasts like myself, you know, hopefully this channel is helping you guys or keeping you guys entertained. You know, um, that's kind of why I do this. Uh, I love fragrances. And I want to bring you guys, you know, the fragrances that I have and kind of share my passion with you guys. So if you guys like any of that and you haven't hit the like button or subscribe button yet, make sure you do that now. So guys, in this video, I have a quick unboxing, uh, just three quick pickups from the website I typically use, which is fragranceby.ca. So I have three quick pickups. Uh, quick story behind this one, my uncle's coming into town and uh, he watched my channels, he checks out my stuff here and there, and he asked me to pick him up a couple of fragrances that I think he would like. Thinking about what's mass appeal and thinking about what I think will be in his wheelhouse, I've grabbed two fragrances for him and one for me, of course. Hopefully he's gonna like them. Uh, he gets them tonight or possibly tomorrow. He's supposed to be coming in from Ohio tonight or tomorrow. So uh, I'll, get, I'll post some feedback, let you guys know if he likes these colognes or these scents or not, all right? So let's go ahead and check out the packaging as usual when it comes to these boxes. Uh, fragrance by their package is A1. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and cut into this thing. All right, guys, so we are pretty much there, all right? So, um, so there, packaging, like I mentioned, pretty decent stuff from Fragrance Buy. All right, let's take a look at some of these gems, all right? So, number one on the list is Afna, 9 p.m. Now, as you guys know, I actually already own this. I took this on a recent trip to Cuba with me, and uh, like I mentioned, I got the most compliments with this. Uh, this doesn't really have an age range. Of course, you know, anybody could pull this off in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. I think you could pull this fragrance off. Uh, this one is a, inspired by fragrance. Um, this is uh, an inspiration by Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultra Male. Um, and again, this one does not disappoint. And with this one, you're getting some apple, uh, you're getting some cinnamon, you're getting a good dose of cinnamon, uh, some orange blossom, lily of the valley. Uh, more importantly though, this base is amazing. In this base, you're getting some vanilla, some tonka bean, some amber, and patchouli. As far as that base, that's one of my favorites as far as colognes that have that base. The amber, patchouli, tonka bean, and vanilla combination uh, is just heavenly. So um, I'm gonna leave this frame to open. Here is mine here. I do keep this one in the box. That's how much I treasure it. I definitely recommend guys, if you are new to the cologne game or you just want one or two great colognes, add 9 p.m. to your list. You will not be disappointed, all right? So that stuff smells amazing. And guys, women love this. Men and women alike love this. Uh, when I was in Cuba, I got compliments from men and women alike. Um, but my lady, she wants me to bring this everywhere with me. So guys, if your girl's like mine and she has similar taste, 9 p.m. is gonna sit very well. So I'm still smelling that in the air, right? So as I mentioned, when you smell it, you get a bit of apple. Uh, you do get the cinnamon, like I mentioned. Um, a little bit of um, citrus, that could be from the bergamot. I believe it does have bergamot in the top as well, but great fragrance, uh, long staying power. You're gonna get some great projection and some good longevity. That's typically, <laughs> that's almost a room filler. I'm actually still smelling it right now, guys. This this one's gonna sit here for a minute. So I hope it doesn't interfere with some of these other ones that I plan on spraying. But uh, guys, um, as far as for Gretzka, this is I believe a 4.5 or 4.6 out of five. So as far as the rating, it's very high. So again, great fragrance, 9 p.m. is undefeated. If there's 10 colognes or five colognes you must have, add that one in, it's gonna get you that kind of gourmand, sexy uh, scent. It could be clubbing, it could be date night, like I mentioned. I could wear this different places. Again, I'm still smelling the air. Wear this different places, it's versatile. But again, maybe not so much to the office, but as far as anything outside the office, any other occasion, this would do just great. So that's Afnan, 9 p.m. My uncle's gonna love that one. Uh, that's the first one I picked up for him. As soon as he hit me up and said, yo, nephew, I need something that smells good, I knew exactly what I was gonna get him, and it was 9 p.m. So I wanted to get him something else as well that was a bit more, um, I'd say refined, a bit more masculine, and that's where this pickup came in. So this is 
Sukrat by Latafa. All right, so we went from Afnan to Latafa. So again, guys, Middle Eastern fragrances are here to stay. They offer you great value, um, great juice, great quality, great projection, great longevity, great sillage for a very good price. So Middle Eastern houses are here to stay. This one is Latafa's Sukrat. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. As far as Sukrat, this is gonna be in another inspired by fragrance. This is an inspired by fragrance of Aqua Di Gio's Profumo. Now that's supposed to be the classic manly uh, office scent, that one you could dress up. You do, really can't really dress that one down too much, but again, you could go a little bit casual with it, but this one's a bit more, you know, dressed up, a bit more, bit more refined. So I figure this would be a good combination for him as well aside from that um, off 9, 9 p.m. So I hope he's gonna like this one too. I'm not gonna open this one because I do want him to open it himself. Um, if you guys do stay tuned, uh, as soon as he gets here, I'm gonna make a comparison video. This is Latafa Sukrat, and this is GT for men. These are both actually inspired by fragrances when it comes to um, Aqua Di Gio's Profumo. And uh, as far as this one, this one's a lot more cheaper. This is a $10 fragrance, by the way, guys. A $10 fragrance that offers you the Profumo experience. The only problem is it does not last very long. Um, you're gonna get maybe about an hour or two as far as this one. I'm hoping this one does last a bit long for my uncle. Um, you know, um, reviews are kind of mixed when it comes to Socrat. As far as Socrat, they were saying uh, that the projection is very good and the longevity is very good on Fragranica or the comments, feedback that some of the people leave, they mentioned that the performance isn't as great. So I don't know if there's been any reformulation. It's kind of early for there to be a reformulation. I'll be honest too, guys. I heard the same thing about 9 p.m. Um, after I bought this one, I was reading some reviews and people are saying that their performance on theirs is very weak. Mine is powerful. Mine lasts a good eight hours. It's very powerful. It projects or sillage there. So I'm hoping that this one does have that same thing going for it. Again, that is Sukrat by Latafa, um, the Aqua Di Giro Profumo, uh, inspired by fragrance, all right? Still smelling that 9 p.m. in the air, guys. I'm still smelling that 9 p.m. and it's only 2 p.m. That's a bad joke, but okay. So, uh, what's this? You know, I never get samples from Fragrance Buy. So I actually got some samples here, guys. Comes in this little package here. I'm surprised to see this. I have to maybe review this. Okay, I got a Zhirzhov. Not too bad. Uh, Tio Cabanel, Paris. Not sure what this one is. I haven't heard of this one before. And I got this sample, which is Tribute by Afnan. Now guys, like I mentioned, I'm surprised. I've ordered from Fragrance Buy a ton of times and not once was actually ever given any samples. So um, shout out to Fragrance Buy for hooking me up with these samples. Um, if you guys wanna, you know, sponsor your brother, hook a brother up, haul at me, all right? So guys, next on the list, so those two are from my uncle that's coming in from Ohio. Like I mentioned, he's coming in tonight. Again, I'll give you guys some feedback on what he thinks about these gems that I picked up for him. But this is the one I got for myself. This is Latafa's Hamra, okay? Hamra, or Kamra, but I believe it's pronounced Hamra. A lot of these Middle Eastern fragrances, guys, the names are gonna be kind of tricky. So if you're reviewing these and you butcher it, don't feel too bad. You know, we're, we're all, all in the same boat, right? So this is Latafa's Hamra. This is supposed to be a inspired by fragrance of Killian's Angel Share, all right? Now I do have Killian's Angel Share, so I'm curious to see how that one um, compares to this one. If you guys do stay tuned, I will make a comparison video of Latafa's Hamra and by Killian's Angel Share, all right? So that will be coming up shortly. I can promise you guys that video in about a week, all right? So hit that subscribe button if you wanna see that. I'll hook you guys up with that and you guys will not be disappointed, all right? So because I've been looking forward to this one the most, by the way, just a bit, bit of backstory here. I actually wanted this before I actually got Angel Share, right? Um, but guys, when this dropped, it was sold out. Like even before uh, this hit uh, discounters, that I was aware of, I was watching videos and this was hard to get your hands on. So it was a matter of time before, you know, your main uh, discounters like Fragrance Buy, Fragrance Net, uh, some of these other discounters um, was able to get this in hand. Uh, but this was hard to find. When Fragrance Buy did drop this, they sold out like that, 
All right, so I waited the second round. I was able to get my Mercedes Club Black. I was also able to get my uh, Dior Sauvage Elixir clone, which I love. Uh, that one is Assad by Latafa. Those were, you know, the two pickups I really wanted, but this was next on the list for me. And they sold out around the time that I made that order. But you know, with my uncle hitting me up, I decided to put through another order and luckily they had this in stock. If you're checking now, they might be sold out, um, but keep checking Fragrance Buy. They usually get their stuff in stock every couple of months, uh, sometimes, you know, twice a month. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys an unboxing of Latafa's Hammer. All right, so you see the Latafa logo back there. Presentation on this is supposed to be A1, guys, so I'm hoping that it is true. Let's get this opened. All right. All right, so there we go. There's the box. Kind of um, feels like cardboard, all right? It has a leather type of uh, pattern to it. The bottom is supposed to be almost like wood, but of course, you guys, you guys know it's not wood. You got the details at the bottom there. That's cool. All right, but uh, let's take a look at the packaging. So I believe this opens like this. It's on there pretty snug. Jeez. Gotta work it out. There we go. All right, you guys see that? Presentation is A1 on this bad boy. All right, so I don't believe it's... All right, so there's the box itself. So as I mentioned, that just goes on there. It's very snug, like I mentioned, guys, very snug. All right. So of course, it's gonna be one of those um, colognes that look very good on your shelf with your other colognes. Even if you take it outside of this, you know, the actual bottle itself is just like the Killian's Angel Share, but it's square as opposed to being rounded, all right? So there you go. That's what that looks like. I'm not quite focusing, but I do apologize. All right. Very nice. This is heavy as well, guys. This is very heavy. The quality in this feels really good. Uh, you got the top on the top there. Not quite focusing. I do apologize. Um, but yeah. Uh, that's on there tight, guys. Like, I work out every now and then, but this thing is on there tight. All right, let's try that again. Finally. All right, so there we go. There you got the lid. This is definitely like a plastic acrylic. The same thing they use in the Dior Ohm um, lids or caps. Kind of same feel I get, but this is much bigger as you can see. Um, atomizer, gold. As I mentioned, my atomizers are always backwards. So let's just fix that. Perfect. Okay guys, so one smelling off the atomizer does not smell like Killian Angel Share. This smell is very gourmandish. I'm getting some vanilla off the atomizer. But again, I haven't sprayed anything yet, so let me not get ahead of myself. Let's actually get this on skin, all right? So guys, here we go. Let's off the camera, unboxing and first impressions. Get it primed, couple good sprays, you know? For, for, for good measure. Whoa. Smell that one from here. All right, one of those room filler fragrances. You're getting your money's worth of this one. All right. That smells really good. That smells really good. Now, as far as the fragrance, it does actually smell similar to uh, by Killian's Angel Share. And I was very um, concerned because a lot of reviewers say that this does not smell like Angel Share whatsoever, but this definitely does share the same DNA as Angel Share. It's not as boozy. I get some type of booze, but the booze is 
The booze is being mixed in with some of the cinnamon and other sweet facets of this fragrance. But off the top, this does smell like Angel Shea. I'm wearing this for my girl tonight and see if she's able to notice. Okay, so um, the booziness, the slight booziness is gone now. With Angel Shea, that booziness does last a bit longer. I can definitely say that. And now we're, we're getting the sweeter fats, like, like I mentioned, we're getting the cinnamon, we're getting the praline, um, possibly vanilla. This smells really good though. I'm hoping it lasts long. Um, from the initial spray, it's kind of toned itself down a little bit. But so far, I'm liking what I'm smelling. Uh, as far as Hamra or Hamra, I'll be doing a full review on this once I get more time with it. I'll give you guys details on projection, longevity, uh, again, side by side comparison as well to Angel Share. We'll see if this is an Angel Share dupe, like they say. As far as the packaging, it's very close to Angel Share. Like, let's just get that straight, right? Very close to Angel Share. This is beautiful. Um, again, good quality, very heavy, very sturdy. Um, I do like it. As far as uh, Hamra on Fragrance Buy, this is going to retail for about uh, 30, about $30, 30 to $40. Um, again, like I mentioned, they are sold out. The prices on this has skyrocketed due to its uh, limited availability, right? So you might see this for about 60 to $70. Guys, just wait, don't pay those ridiculous prices. When I first saw Hamra, it was for $59, right? And, um, and it was a place I could actually go to to pick it up. I didn't have to order it. I said, you know what? I want to get the best uh, as far as money I uh, can buy. And I wanted to get the best out of my money pretty much. And I figured, you know, if I wait a week or two until, you know, fragrance buy restocks, save myself some dollars and still get the fragrance I want. So um, this retails for about, like I mentioned, 30 to $40. Uh, great buy. Again, a Middle Eastern fragrance, Latafa, one of the better houses as far as Middle Eastern fragrances are concerned. Um, as far as Latafa's Sukrat, this one retails for about $25 roughly, $25 to $30. Uh, these are Canadian prices by the way guys, I'm giving you prices in Canadian so that kind of shows you the value you're getting for these kind of fragrances. Uh, this is 100 ml, this retails for about $25 to $30. Again, this is the Profumo Twist, the um, Aqua Digio Profumo Twist. And then you got Afna 9 p.m. This one is also very raved about. Uh, this one might be kind of hard for you to find uh, due to its popularity. We're going into the cooler months. Uh, this is all season, by the way, guys. Um, spring, go light in the summertime. Um, fall and winter, this will do you justice. This retails for, I believe, about the same $30 to $40 price range. Um, when it first retailed, it was a lot cheaper, but I believe prices have gone up even on discounters to about uh, between $30 to $40 Canadian. So again, still not bad for the juice. Again, one of my top, I'm gonna say, this is top 10. Sometimes I feel like it's top five in my collection, just due to the fact that how much demand my girl gives it and also how much I love wearing it, right? So um, you can't go wrong with these Middle Eastern fragrances, as I mentioned, the price is very good. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for the video. If you like any of those three fragrances, drop me a like um, if you want to see some comparison videos especially when it comes to the um, Tafas Hamra and by Killian's Angel Share hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell so when that video does drop you're the first to know and you can see you know is it worth me spending 200 300 dollars for a by Killian fragrance or is it best I spend 30 40 bucks and get the Latafa and get a similar type of vibe similar type of DNA still on skin still projecting Still in that uh, sweet uh, gourmandish state right now. Like I mentioned, not much booziness. But like I mentioned, well worth the money. And like I mentioned, this being 100 ml for $30, you could spray this like crazy. I know people that probably have the by Killian, they are pacing themselves, they're counting their sprays because that is very expensive. I know with my little, um, I believe I have like a 10 or 30 ml. Um, I take my time with that one. This one I could just go trigger happy i could just splash 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 just spray just spray myself as much as i want you know walk out there and just project to the world but um 
yeah, I'm cutting this video now, I'm talking too much. Uh, like I mentioned guys, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hope you guys are staying well, staying safe, and more importantly, hope you guys are smelling good. Have a blessed weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.